Right now, man, it's just what's going on with the world. I just, you know, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I, I, I can relate to it more part than anybody that's, that's uh, relevant right now. Um, at this point, I just think it's a reality check for everybody. I think, you know, you know if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. It's either haves or have nots right now. You know, ain't no in betweens. Um, so I just think. Music is the best way to kind of massage the situation, kind of, you know, just to kind of, you know what I'm saying, I the wrinkles out, because it's like, that's some real life shit to wake up and don't know you're going to get your next million, next dollar from. When you're talking about single parents, you're talking about motherfuckers that was already in a bad situation, what about the people we just, we just left in the, uh, fucking New Orleans, is dealing with it, they had to move to Texas to start over, and now this shit hit, you know, it's, it's just real shit, it's what about that? You ever seen a motherfucker that go to, like, probably got a thousand dollars in his pocket, and that's what he maintained off of year round. You know, he gonna flip it, he gonna, you know, make his little money, but he gonna keep that thousand dollars right there. He might fifteen hundred, you know what I mean? He might do two thousand, but he gonna take every other Friday, he gonna take two hundred of that, get him some shoes, white tee, you know what I'm saying? You know, some new, some new, uh, some new kicks, new pants, new hat, new fitted hat, gotta have that. And he putting on, you know what I'm saying? He he fucked up, but it, it don't matter. Like you can be you can be in a fucking Enzo next to him. You know what I'm saying? He, he in a rental car or, or, or his partner car, or, or not even that. He in some shit that you know it might not start up in the morning. But you can't tell him he ain't putting on. Like no matter what's going on with them, they never let you see that. And I feel like that's what we going through right now. Like the, like the government got us fucked up. Like they got us down. It's the economy. You can't let them see us sweat, man. Let's put on. And if you see the video, we're dealing with people. Like, it's real shit. I'm riding around. I'm hollering at real niggas. I'm hollering at real people. I'm hollering at, you know what I'm saying, uh, families and, and households that are they're hit by this recession. They like, they hanging black flags outside. They shit like, it's nothing. He just came through. We blessed. We good. We gonna make it through this. Help us on the way. To me, it symbolizes change. To me. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just my personal opinion. I'm not asking nobody else. You know, this ain't no endorsement, no shit like that. But you know, the flag's been red, white, and blue forever. And look what we've been going through. You know what I'm saying? And black and silver to me are strong colors. It's like when the Raiders was when the Raiders was the Raiders. Like you just wanted to wear that black and silver. Are you worried about any type of backlash from that? Man, fuck Fox News. <laughs> like for real, man. They tried to ban me on my first album, CNN, everybody. But like, look what you. Look what you teach our people every day. It's poison. It's almost like brainwashing. Like you sit there and keep, it's like the fucking internet. If you keep putting shit on the internet, after a while you believe it. You gonna tell me that you gonna tell me a, a 12 year old girl got shot in the drive by and you gonna put it on the news for ratings and I'm wrong for speaking to my people about what's going on in our community? Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm in production. I ain't really played the name game. I just kept it 100. Like, it's fucked up out here. Like I said, it's a recession. It's a drought. So, the niggas that I came up in the game with, I just wanted to make sure they ate. And the craziest thing is I, I co-produced maybe like 80% of this album. I'm, I'm broad my whole shit because I gotta, if I'm gonna bring other people in the game, I gotta be as big as I can be. If I'm gonna tell a nigga he, I'm motivating the thugs, I gotta make a thug nigga be like, yeah, I can be all the way up there. You know what I'm saying? When you come in the game, I don't want to be like Jay-Z. I want to be bigger because he already set his mark. So if I'm going to come in the game, I got to come in the game and set a high standard. Rapper, I remember we hated rappers. Like, fuck them niggas. Like, for real. Man, niggas ain't coming to our hood. Shoot a video where? Niggas, you crazy? He ain't coming up here fucking up our trap <laughs> to shoot your video. Man, go to your hood and do that. You know what I'm saying? That's how we looked at it. But now, me being in the game, I'm like, damn. I just remember her saying, you know, a smooth operator song, you know, and it was so cool to me because, like, you know, what the fuck is a smooth operator? It's a cool nigga. But I'm like, you know, a smooth operator in my mind is a nigga who handling this business. Like, don't sweat, don't trip, no nothing. Let me get it done. And that's what I was basically saying, you know, you know, doing some shot day, I'm a smooth operator, nigga. I run a smooth operation. Like, my shit is 100. They asked about me, and that's how I felt. Just at one time, if you didn't have a Master P No Limit CD in your car, you was a sucker. Like, you didn't come through, boom, we know who them is so old. I thought I took, boom, like, if you ain't come through babbing that shit, it's like, you might as well not even come through. <laughs> I just said September 2nd. Make sure y'all get that shit. Hurry up.